Hi everyone, currently I'm using Camtasia 2020. The issue I was having was videos recorded with iPhone would be silent once imported into Camtasia or during the editing phase, especially mixed with other video types, I would get an error from Camtasia saying unsupported audio stream. I will share a workaround with you to resolve this issue using either of the following two applications. Okay, workaround one involves using VLC player to convert the video in question. Open up VLC player, click on media, click on convert save, and on the, on the open media, you can actually drag and drop the, the video file in question. Or if you like, you can click on add and browse the location of the video file and edit that way. Click on convert save. Under the settings section, you don't really, shouldn't really have changed the video type, but uh, right next to it, you'll see a wrench icon. Click on that to go into the additional settings under audio codec. What you really need to change is the codec type. And default is MPEG audio. Make sure to change the MPEG for audio in parentheses AAC. And also make sure sample rate is 44,100 hertz. And then click on save. And then the final step would be is to actually pick a location and a file name before you click on start to start the conversion. That's it. Workaround 2 involves using a popular uh, audio editing application called Handbrake. Open up Handbrake application window and you can drag and drop the video file in question, similar to the VLC player. Under Summary, make sure you click on Web Optimize, especially if you're going to upload this video to a website. And under Video, make sure uh, the frame rate is 30 frames per second. Under Audio, right next to the stereo, you'll see a drop down. Click on that. And uh, on there's, uh, right next to the sample rate, uh, auto should be the default. Make sure to ch change that to 44.1. If you remember, same as VLC player, 44,100 Hz. Uh, should be the same. And then pick a location and a file name. And then once you uh, select the file name and the location, and on there, uh, you can start on the start and code to start the conversion process. That's it. whether you use VLC player or handbrake make sure the, the newly created video file is actually playing the sound before you import it into Camtasia and once it's imported uh, check within Camtasia to confirm that it is actually playing properly thanks for watching